We're back. Thank you so much for joining us again on the Sizzling KSN Show. Now, check this out. You know social media. When we talk about social media, we're talking about the world. Somebody says, oh, me too, Kwanyo. I'll be in the uh, UK, so I can't receive my mail. My new email address for UK. You know, you know that guy is not digital, man. <laughs> no, social media is the world. And so when you have any nomination based on your social media presence, it's world presence. Well, there are about 800, over 800 nominees that have been selected uh, by social media. These are people who are doing things for their communities, people who are, who are helping smaller communities build and do all sorts of things. They selected over 800 people, nominees, and they picked one as the most reliable person in Africa. There were all these contenders from Nigeria, from Tanzania, Kenya, name it, but Ghana won. And I have the winner in my house. Those of you who are on social media, I'm sure you have seen Kofi Amigo's toss, and he'll be explaining more about that. But put your hands together, show some love for the most reliable person awarded on social media in Africa, Kofi Amwa. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> Okay, good everyone, come to the thank show and you, have a thank seat. You, thank you. Have a seat, man. <laughs> thank you. Let's, let's hang out. And Kofi is seated. We're going to have a chat. But before we do that, we're going to take a small commercial break, but we will be right back. Hey, what's back? Kofi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Life is good. Well, for the record, Kofi and I go way back. Oh, Chale, <laughs> yes. way, way, way. Maybe you know, yes. it was funny because I was reading your stuff on social media for a while. And then I, I told my, my producer, oh, we have to invite this person. Yeah, this is great. And later, I said, oh, but I know him. That's the <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know him. The very yes. first time we met was way back then when way I was back. on radio. Yes, radio. Right FM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I was telling people that uh, I got awarded with the past president, Rollins. And it was uh, President Mahama who picked the award for <laughs> <laughs> President Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, mm. so so it's good to have you back. Yeah, sure. And it's good to see you're doing, you're still doing great. Because mm. I remember, uh, even those days of Vibe FM, it was something you're doing for the community. That, yes, yes, that Chad Watch my, on Vibe. Yeah, mm. that, that drew my attention. And you're still doing it. Exactly. How are you doing? Great, great. All I can say is great. <laughs> and, and the thing is, when you see people smile, you are happy to, to make them smile. And yeah. that's the whole thing. Yeah, mm. yeah. You're making a lot of people smile on social media. What do you call uh, Kofi Amigo? Uh, yeah, the, the private page is K Amigo Cinema. But the activity page, which is the main thing, is On the Road with Amigos. On the Road with Amigos, <laughs> yes. And some exciting things are happening on the road. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you do? You, you just pick your camera and you hit the road and you look, you look out for what? <laughs> well, uh, I have three things that I call my tool. I have this, my motorcycle. Okay. Then I have the lens of the camera and my hat. But uh, basically, what I do is um, advocacy, education, and then social development. You know, um, advocacy uh, in various forms. I'm so passionate about road safety because mm. each time I'm riding my motorcycle from Accra to the north, I see a lot of things happen oh, on the road. road. From Accra to oh, the north yeah. on the bike? On my 20-year-old motorcycle. Really? Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've seen so many things, and um, I think the carnage on our roads uh, can be reduced if we really talk more about it and let people see the reality. So um, I try to bring some hardcore graphics, mm. you know, mm. um, through social media to just educate people. And there are times that I actually get people, I get evidence to the police at the next police station because you find people that even, I thought it was uh, people who were not educated, but you find people that have been yeah. to school and yeah. then they are breaking yeah. the rules yeah. and driving recklessly. Yeah. You no. Know, so when I see this, the next police, I give the evidence and then, you know, the police take over. Yeah. You know, and then also there are times that I've seen very bad situations like hit and run situation, people have been killed and I try to mm, locate family members of these people. And often, these people are very So do you, fi you film those I things? I film everything. You wow. know, on my page on the road with Amigos, it's, it's all about information. So when I film, I edit, I put it out there, and then I see what I can do with my friends to solve problems. But you know why I'm doing all of this is the fact that I think we talk too much in Ghana. Mm. Every time I tune into radio, oh. television, yes. people are experts at talk and do nothing. 
So I want to tell people that before you talk, take an initiative. Mm. I have traveled to schools all over the country, mm. and I know what is happening there. Mm. The last time someone was talking about the headmistress that couldn't speak English, I went to the school, and I went to donate books to the school. Mm. It was when I was coming back that I started my social experiment on spoken English. And that has mm. gone viral, the rats. The rat thing, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but I think this is, this is not supposed to ridicule anybody. It is rather to tell us that, and look, we need to invest yeah. in education. Yeah. Because these people are selling, OK? And people are using the route. It is an international route. Do not expect everyone to speak your yeah. local language. Yeah. But if you can speak English, you have an advantage. So these are the things that are, it's actually a social experiment. But thereafter, I try to do something, my intervention. So I go back to the community and see what I can do to support education. Mm. There are communities that I go to. When I see, I go initially, always my motorcycle is packed with books, mosquito nets, food, school uniforms, name it. All right? I sponsor children to school. Now, when I go to the community and I realize that their needs are so big, I bring it. And my friends on social media, they, they trust me. They rely on me. They know I can do it. But then I try to see uh, what they can also do. So in one, in one particular village, just one lady, a lady friend of mine, built a school. Really? Yes. You see? So that means that we can all do something. Yeah. It's not just yeah. about talking about it. one person can do that much. one person can do that much. Yes. It means we can do a lot. We just don't have to be talking that this person, the president, Mahama hasn't done this. What can we do ourselves? Mm. For me, trust me, should there be another president in Ghana, I'm going to support that president. Just like I'm supporting uh, John Mahama's administration now. I mean, the president is in his office. He doesn't know what is happening around the communities. Mm. We Ghanaians should be helping yeah. before we talk. Because the district assemblies are supposed to do the work. Now, if the DCE says he, she, he or she doesn't even know the presence of that community in the district, then it should be a problem. So I go ahead to initiate the development, and then I talk about it. That is how I go about what I do. So it's all about advocacy, education, and intervention. That's Put your hands together, man. Put your... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one thing you, you, you said, which I've said quite a bit, uh, that we, we, we know, really know how to talk. That's too bad. And we, we actually diagnose the problem, and we analyze the problem, and yet... No solution. No solution. Because the people who talk so much on radio, can they go to their villages and start something? Start something in your village. Mm. No matter how small. Look, you'd be amazed how much 200 cities can do in a village. Mm. Hmm? 200 cities yeah. to a child's education. I've done experiments. I go to places, I give out 200 CDs. The last time I found a woman in a bush church, hmm? she was going for deliverance to get money to start a, a business. I went back to that church, I gave her the money she wanted. It was nothing, small money, and her life is transformed. So if we can all start doing something new every day, Ghana will get there. Hmm. It's not the president or your party that can get Ghana there, it's you. Mm. So let's all start doing something new every day. That's my message. Every time, that's my message. Do something new every day. Every day. One small thing. One small thing. And you'd be amazed if a thousand of us should develop a child a day. Think of how many children we'll develop in a year. So this is, this is really an awesome message. Um, and you've started this crusade. Like I said, when I first talked to you, Vibe, several years ago, man. Many years. Must have been over 15. <laughs> yes. There was something similar you were doing yes. that caught my attention. Yes. And you've been at this. Yes. What, what can we do? What, what do you think can be done to get more people getting into your zone? Yeah, it's, it's so simple. Like I said, we all come from villages. Mm. Okay? Mm. If we can all start in our own small ways, go to the schools in our village. I believe so much in education. Formal or informal, okay? But the emphasis for me now is formal because a lot of things are going wrong, okay? If we do not invest in formal education. I go around the country and I look at the schools. Mm. Things are really getting bad, mm. all right? Mm. So if we can all start at that level, I'm telling you, we can do so much. We mm. can really, really, really do so much because from what I... You know, I, I picked a girl, a kayak girl in 1998, and I trained her. She wanted to um, learn uh, welding. Wow. I trained her, 
she finished and she started working with the Ghana Armed Forces. Really? She's a driver mechanic, you know, with the Ghana Armed Forces. As we speak right now, she's at the Congo on peacekeeping. Can you wow. believe it? A Kaya girl. Show some love, man. Show some love. <laughs> so it can be done. Fascinating. We do not need to be millionaires before yeah. we show love to someone. It's mm. all in the heart. It should be a way of life. Because, you see, I started working at the Riman home. And if I remember years past, the children that were coming to the Riman home were from, from the street. Mm. It's the same kids that are taking guns and mm. shooting us at night because we did not care about them. Trust me, if we all start caring, Ghana will change. Crime wouldn't be as it is now. It's because we don't care. Mm. And once we don't care, look, children are born on the street. I remember um, the, the, I, last year, um, I was able to save three people who were pregnant. They were pregnant? Pregnant on the street. They, I helped them have the babies. Like if, you're talking physically help them? Or? Yes. And it's so sad that I went to some agencies that I thought uh, they could help, but they disappointed me. I wouldn't like to mention their names. They know themselves. State agencies, in fact. Mm. And I had, and this lady, if I had not picked her from the street, she had a baby on the 4th of June. She would have died in the flats. Mm. Yeah. And she had a beautiful girl. I mean, Crystal Hospital in Tema was very, very helpful. Wow. The lady was anemic. Imagine how much injections we bought and gave to her. Ferron, very expensive. They were able to save her life. And, and she had mm. a beautiful baby girl. And there were others that I saved after that. So what I'm trying to say is, as an individual, I don't think I had to wait to have all the monies in the world to be doing what I'm doing. Friends, friends are supporting. And I'm urging each one of us to just start something little at the grassroots level in our communities. And I'm telling you, we can do a lot for Ghana. Ghana is a very rich country. I've traveled around the world. I know how they made it. And if we all start caring right now, we will get the problem solved. Mm. 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 Put your hands together, man. <laughs> so, so, so solution is not as complicated as we make it. No, 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 no. So you see, my problem is when I see people saying, what has the government done? How does it? It's we, we from the government. And trust me, if, if churches, like we go to church, we, we give money to church, we tell the church, let's do this. And then we go to our village communities, associations, let's do this. KSM, don't you think we can get far? Yeah. We can do so much. Yeah. But if you say president, president, president is, is having too much to do. His ministers are busy. So, we the people who have to start. And then we will draw the attention of the presidency that this is what we started. Can you also join us? This is the way we do it. But you cannot say, oh, Mama's administration, if you do it this way and your party also comes, it will be the same. The other group will also do the same to you. And Ghana will never grow. I realized that over the years, this is what we've been doing. Mm. We frustrate people who come. Mm -hmm. One party is not your party, so make sure they never succeed. <coughs> and at the end of the day, we suffer. We are the ones that suffer. You yeah. see? Yeah. I go to some, com I went to a, a village school, Malam Chrome. Mm, horrible. And then a young teacher told me that, can you believe that a young man like me, they brought me to this village. This is punishment. That's what the young man said. Wow. Whereas I went to another school, uh, Ajen Kotoku, uh, behind Ajen Kotoku. Right? An urban poor community. And I went to that school and I saw a teacher constructing a classroom block. Wow. I asked him, why are you doing this? And then he said, when I was in GHS, I studied building and construction. Hmm. This is what I'm applying. If you're a teacher, it doesn't mean you should only stay in the classroom. Think about it. It's wow. attitudes. Do you want your community to grow? Are you waiting for government? What are you doing yourself? That's it. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> so, it's, 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 it's very, very enlightening, you know. And, 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 and I think that uh, this, this has been one of the best engagements I've had, you know, because it's, it's real, mm. you know. A son of mine was saying recently, he says, um, he has realized that there are, there are no bad governments, but there are only bad citizens, exactly. you know. 
that no matter what you do, it's in the hands of the citizens. Mm. And if we decide to do nothing, the problems will be there. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I cannot sleep each night because I have plans, you know, visiting villages here and there. Can you believe I put my motorcycle in canoes? Yeah. Think of the risk. Wow. On the highway, the risk. But risk, Ghana is talking about Fulani Hesman. I have ridden my motorcycle through this ambush several times. I didn't even know. It was when I got to one of the villages that I was told that you actually went through the ambush. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the risk is so high. But yeah. the, the fact that you want to go and transform someone's life, you don't it's even think of that. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, you are uh, sacrificing your sleep, uh, your resources. I mean, I earn money from um, making photos and videos for corporate groups and events. So whatever I get... I put into charity uh, mm -hmm. a percentage. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think you receive a lot of blessing because that poor child without footwear, you've given footwear to the child tells you God bless you. Mm -hmm. It's a lot because I see it in my life. Amen. Amen. Put it together. <laughs> let, let, on the other how how is your personal? I mean, are you married? <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm married to my job. <laughs> yeah, well I, I have a, a very beautiful daughter. And her mother is also a wonderful person. And I must tell you, my six-year-old daughter is also into charity. Oh, really? Yes, I no, have. The rest in the family. Uh -huh, I have a contract with her. Each time she has 100%, I actually pay her money Wow. in school. And then she also invests into charity of her wow. choice. Wow. Mm. Wow. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> well, Sophia Mwa, both had the most reliable African. And uh, this was a survey on... Uh, Social media? Yes. What happened was that this thing came up and then people were supposed to nominate people that they felt had done so much for their community mm. or people that are doing something to change the world. So some uh, one in the UK, Rosalind Bryan, she nominated me. I've never met her, but she's been following my work on Facebook on the road with Amigos. So she nominated me mm. and there were like 800 people. And then... You know, I was just there, and then I was called uh, that the whole thing has been shortlisted to five mm. from Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Nigeria, and Ghana. And I was representing Ghana. I said, wow. So this whole thing had to be put into voting. The cyber world had to vote. Wow. And that is where um, I started my campaign. But I realized that there were certain things that Gary never advertises. Mm. Gary never advertises. <laughs> you know, certain things never advertise. If you are good, you're good. But I must say, friends out there who know what I do, and, you know, the God that I serve knows what I do. I, I, I was told by the uh, agent in Ghana, SMT, that's SDLG agent in Ghana. The man called me that uh, he wanted to have a meeting with me. And I wasn't too sure because he told me that, oh, we know what you're doing, but we've never met you in person. I didn't know it was a trap. <laughs> so I got to the office, and then I met these other two gentlemen that have flown from Sweden to Ghana, and they told me that the world has spoken. The world has seen my work, wow. and the world has given me 53% of the, the total vote, of the total vote wow. and I am Africa's most reliable wow. person. Put your hands together, man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And congratulations for Thank you man. very yes, much. But above, above that, you know, Thank you for the message and, and thank you for letting us all know that it's one person at a time can't make a difference. Exactly. Komi, it's good to have you back after several years. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much and uh, you had everything, man. One person can make a difference. Stick around. We'll be right back. Oh.